I'm a I'm a capitalist scumbag. Maybot. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton and I'm your humble narr narrator. Welcome to Maybot Run. My intro was a little thrown off by the, the run scream right in my ear, but uh that's okay. It's pretty awesome. I like the music in this game, I like the art style. It is just an endless runner, uh, but it is available on mobile as well, so maybe you want to check that out on the Google Play, the Apple Store, whatever you got. Most people got Google Play because uh, Apple... Apple? Ugh! 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 <laughs> Anyways, here's uh, the upgrades that you can get. I, I got Dodgy Dave Bot, I got Major Bot, and then who knows who this is. Maybe it's uh, Princess Diana. She she was in a car and then she died or something. Oh, that's that's kind of tasteless. Anyways, um, this this game is about uh, British humor. It's pretty interesting. Um, rather British politics covered in a British humor kind of style. We could get some uh, upgrades or something like that. I don't know what Kofi Kofi is. Uh, neither does Donald Trump. I don't think. That was pretty funny, though. He tried to cover his ass. He's like, who's gonna figure out what Kofifi means? It doesn't mean anything. So, uh, everybody besides Theresa May has a, uh, a special perk. Major Bot has a steady speed, which means he won't be affected by speed up or slow down power-ups. Or, uh, I guess they're power-ups. And then you got Dodgy Dave Bot, who gets a rapid fire once you, uh, get your little shooty meter all the way filled. The suggested way to play is probably go soft Brayx. Brexit first, and then you can go to the hard Brexit uh, once you get a couple of upgrades. Right now I only have a few upgrades, uh, the shield I think, and some starting money. So we will play, we will see how it goes. The controls are relatively simple. Played completely with the mouse or keyboard if that's what you prefer, but I do prefer the mouse, just a little bit of clickins. A little bit of clickins, you collect money bags and uh, gets get more money to implement policies and stuff, which will increase your score. You can also buy upgrades. And then there's like, uh, little things of wheat. And that fills your naughtiness meter, which makes you uh, able to turn into like a giant robot. Oops, I accidentally hit that bomb. I lost my shield. But that's okay, I still have all my monies. I should have gone under to get that policy. I'll go under this time. Yeah! Green belt giveaway, hooray! I'm, I'm taking taxes or something. Fracking for life? That's right, bro. We're fracking for life. Fracking awesome. <laughs> uh, there's a buff up there where you can get uh, some double money, which is rather nice, but I've already got plenty of money to start with. As long as I don't hit anything, I should be rather okay. There's a mayhem upgrade for when my, my meter's full. Once I collect enough wheat. If you're wondering why, uh... Dave Bot is part pig, it's because, uh, not just because he's a greedy pig politician, but, uh, he apparently had to stick his dick in a pig for, like, some sort of fraternity initiation thing, which is pretty hilarious, for one, um, but yeah, for it to, to follow him that long is pretty, pretty ridiculous, so now it's been immortalized in game form, which I think is rather nice. The art style is uh, pretty cool. It's got some some stuff going on in the background. Although I will say that the um, the, the the perspective is a little strange. You know what I mean? I've got um, a bit a bit too too fast in the foreground and a bit too slow in the background. I don't expect it to be moving all at the same speed, but I think the background goes by uh, a little too slow. Sometimes it throws me off. There's an Iron Lady upgrade, so now I can uh, bust through a bunch of stuff. But I think, I, I'm not sure, but I think that's going to uh, take some of my money away. Or all of my money away, so I don't want to risk it. I'll just play as if I don't have the upgrade, and uh, everything should go just fine. I'm hoping to find some more taxes or something like that. Once I get uh, a double jump upgrade, I don't really care about money anymore. I'll just be concentrating on wheat. To make sure that I can beat the bosses. Free rides for the poor, and then they fucking shot that dude. That's hilarious. My Maybot Mayhem was upgraded, but I missed out on the double jump because I was watching that peasant be shot out of a hot air balloon. <laughs> it's a really, really funny game, to be quite honest. Um, and not funny in like a, a strange way. 
I mean, it is a little strange, too, but that's part of the appeal. The art style is uh, a little bit creepy. Reminds me of David Firth, uh, the guy that made Salad Fingers. That's the, the closest thing I can compare it to, I suppose. It's an interesting style and uh, very tongue-in-cheek, which I like a lot. So I'm going to grab this wheat upgrade. Oh, there's the double jump. It's up there. God damn it. Yeah, I need to read a little faster, or at least uh, know what the symbols are. I just saw blue. I was like, okay, I want to get the blue one. But it wasn't the blue one that I wanted. So I'm still hanging on to my money pretty good. Little uh, dodgy Dave doing what he needs to do. There's Trump. Helping hand bigly. Oh, but I took a hit from fucking Paul Revere. <laughs> I don't think it's Paul Revere. That's a very American thing. Uh... But as an American, that's, that's all I can really compare it to. So now I've got fucking no money left. I should have bought that double jump way earlier. Mayhem is now ready, so I can transform into like a fucking giant tank and blow some shit up, which is pretty cool. There's the double jump, but I can't afford it now. Fart. Fart and poop and sh some shit also. <laughs> oh well. That's what happens sometimes. Now, you don't want to hit those pensioners, because uh, they'll make you lose some money, too. But in exchange, you get some votes, also, which I think is a pretty good exchange, because obviously you can uh, strengthen yourself a little more, buy some upgrades and the like. Obviously, that, that's a good thing, if you're playing the long game. But if you're playing the short game, just trying to get the uh, immediate points, then maybe it's not the best idea, because you want to... Uh, turn in as much money as possible for taxes, implement a bunch of policies. Money's actually pretty important in this game. Much like it is in politics, right? Right. I avoided the uh, expenses there just because I want to save up some money and buy some more upgrades. I don't think I'm going to get any more before the boss, but I do have uh, two mayhem upgrades. So, wow. What was that? Brown? Brown belt? Is that what that said? Couldn't quite see it. I'll see it in editing. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. But we're doing pretty good with uh, old Dodgy Dave here. I don't really need to collect this wheat anymore because my meter is already full. So we'll just concentrate on money as much as possible. There, I got another uh, another health bubble back. I can't remember where I lost my shield. But I guess everything's okay. So our little bar at the top is full. Um, we are going to encounter the boss quite shortly. So I will transform into into an awesome tank. Yeah, how you like that, sucker? So you gotta dodge the little needles, nail that, and then there's little red bubbles on the needle that you have to watch, and when they fill up, you jump again. Uh, but <laughs> I just defeated the boss. No problem. I avoided the hundred votes. Why? Uh, I didn't really mean to, but I'll just say, cause fuck it. Cause fuck it, that's why. Cause I'm a boss. I'm just gonna shoot my way through here. And now I got a, a shield back again. And wasted it immediately. <laughs> okay then. It's uh, a little bit difficult to dodge things as a tank. As you can likely imagine. And I missed out on the double jump again. That's fine. I can also uh, duck down in the tank to avoid the bombs, but why would you do that when you can blow the fucking bombs up? That seems pretty obvious, bro. No tax for kids pay your way. Dang! I wanted the children to... <clears throat> to benefit or something from my... My awesome politics! Isn't that wonderful? So, if you're American like me, and wondering why this game is called Maybot Runs, it's because, um... Much like the majority of politicians... Oh shit. Dead. Dead Dave. Well, we did okay. Alright! We got a, a nice rating. I didn't beat my my highest score ever, but that's relatively fine. Anyways, this game is called Maybot Run because um, Theresa May has apparently been answering questions in a very strange way. Uh, basically... Stating things that have nothing to do with the question. You know how politicians do. That's always how they do. I'm gonna go ahead and buy an extra heart. That'll be nice. And then uh, I'll save up a little more. I still want to save up a thousand votes and find out who this last character is. But um, 
that'll probably be something for another day. Hmm, let's try the hard Brexit now and see if I got the, uh, the shield and the extra heart. Because in hard Brexit you're only supposed to have one heart, which is what makes it so hard. But maybe I got an extra one. Yeah, look at that. I bought some ex extra upgrades. I could do a little better this time around. So, admittedly, I don't really uh, understand all the politics in a foreign country, and I'm not going to pretend that I do. To me, Brexit uh, seems like a good idea, separating from the European Union. E EU's got all these fucking weird rules and shit like that, implementing uh, laws that, you know, don't seem to benefit the country as a whole. Benefit the EU? Maybe, but that's not what a country's supposed to be about, bruh. <laughs> You're supposed to do the best thing for your kin and your countrymen! Don't you see? They don't see. They don't see. Well, maybe, uh... Maybe Britain does see. I don't know. Overall, uh, there, there's a mix, you know? A pretty eclectic mix, if you ask me, of people on both sides. And, um... You know, I just speak completely as, um... Clueless American, you know? To me, I say don't trade your, uh... Don't trade your freedom for security. If you want to fish in them waters, you go ahead and fish in them waters. And uh, tell the fucking EU to stuff it. <laughs> but then the EU also apparently uh, lets people go to college for free and things like that, which that seems pretty important. But um, we do we do relatively okay without that in the in the U.S. Relatively okay. It's not great putting yourself into a shit ton of debt, but. Um, it works, I guess. Our lovely debt-based economy. Seems Dave Bot shrinks down into his own pants, which is uh, pretty hilarious if you ask me. Look at him, he's so adorable! I'm gonna avoid the expenses again. I could get a huge boost to my score if I turn in all of these, uh, all of these monies as expenses. But I don't really want to at the moment. That double jump is just awesome. It really uh, extends my, my livability, my longevity, and allows me to get all that shit on the top of the screen, like votes or whatever. You can't go inside this building on the bottom, um, but things slow down in there, which really makes it kind of awkward. If we encounter another building, I will, uh, I will demonstrate it, but I'll probably also end up losing some health and or money. Oh, oh, oh. Just like that. <laughs> Oh my! Whoops. I'm a, I'm a capitalist scumbag. Food banks are rather uplifting and shows what a good, compassionate country we are. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> really, um, yeah. A food bank is okay, in my opinion. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to love a food bank, uh, but really it's better than having the government swoop in and be like, let me take some of your money and redistribute it, which is all taxes are, you know. You do have to pay taxes for some things. But again, as an American, I don't want to pay for foreign wars and all this bullshit. They tell me uh, I just don't understand the international politics, and I say, yeah, not really. But as an everyman, uh, I don't really want to. <laughs> Can't you see? Don't you see? I'm gonna try and implement some more policies this time around. Hopefully not get hit by fucking bombs. If I can get the double jump, that would be great. That's uh, basically been my goal this entire time. Sometimes it ain't gonna be like that. There's uh, Theresa May sliding on her ass like a dog with worms or something. <laughs> I don't understand. I thought the, uh, the turning into a pig and going into your pants was like a little more clever, but sliding on your ass, that works just fine. You know, it can't all be perfect. I'll get the stone heart upgrade. Look at that, five hearts up there? What? And a shield? What? I could run through all those bombs, collect some votes, but that ain't what I'm, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep stacking it up. Stack it up, uh, stack it up, uh, stack it up, uh. That's how we do. That's how we do here in the government. The government. Let me print some money, and then all that money I printed, helping hand bigly, uh, you do see those money pits over there. They're not filled with money. They will actually kill you But uh, if you have Donald Trump, he will he will pull you out of the money pit Which I don't know 
I guess that's a good thing. He knows about money, right? He, he got a small loan of a million dollars. <laughs> I don't mean to insult Donald Trump. Um, I'm not gonna rip on him. I voted for the guy. I like some of the stuff he's doing. It's not the worst thing ever. I was just tired of 30 year do nothing politicians, you know what I mean? Had way too much of that shit. We're done now. We're done. It's fucking over. And there's another helping hand, Bigly. Bigly helping hand. We're winning Bigly. I'm surprised that they didn't make a, a tiny hand comment. But then again, maybe that's why hands are mentioned at all, because then you connect it with uh, him having tiny hands. Which really, does he? I don't think so. If he does, then my hands are also tiny. <laughs> that could be. Maybe that's why I suck at video games. I just can't, uh... I can't get a good grip on the controller because of my tiny hands. Six foot three, got some tiny hands. Dude, dude, you need to check that shit. Toe the line, or else. That sounds like everything ever. The cops will come and get you. They'll fucking pl plant some, some weed in your house. Or if you're uh, from a state where it's legal, then they'll plant some cocaine or something. But here we are in the, the slowdown room. Like I said, it's a little bit confusing. It throws me off. I always end up uh, taking a hit in there. It wasn't as bad as it could have been, I guess. But yeah, not my favorite. That's for surezies. And there I was trying to jump to the top, but I missed out. Shield, need it. All right, got it back. No worries, no worries everybody. Can I get another Mayhem upgrade? Sure, why not? Could turn it in for taxes, or expenses, whatever it's called. But I don't wanna. I need all my money. I'm a greedy politician, I'm just trying to stay in character. <laughs> I'm really not that greedy in real life. I don't, I don't give two shits about money. As long as I got enough to, to get what I need, I'm good. Boop boop. Jump over that, that horseman. I don't even know what to call him. I'll call him Bojack. Bojack Horseman! <laughs> That's good. That's relevant for a, a game about politicians, isn't it? But I did do my homework, you know? I, I know some stuff. Oh god. I, I took a few hits there. Let's get the full health. No, we're out of money! Fuck. Alright. I might be in some trouble here. I spazzed out just a little bit. Because I was, uh, thinking too hard. That's what happens. That's what happens when you think too hard. You shouldn't think too much. Just pay your taxes. Fall in line! Fall in line, fuckers! Now I got the Iron Lady upgrade. Hell yeah. Look at that shit. It looks like she's wrapped in tinfoil, really. She's, a. Uh, She's the most terrifying leftover you've ever seen. Mayhem ready. I don't need no more wheat. I just want all this stuff. Give me taxes. Give me your taxes, citizen. There we go. Over the money pit. Let's go mayhem upgrade. Oh, fuck, I forgot. I'm broke. I'm so poor. The government came and took all my money. I need to be paid more to sit here and write laws that uh don't really work anyways <laughs> it's a, a nice thought isn't it oh you see that iron lady upgrade i resisted them bombs damn dude that was pretty good that's pretty good oh god don't get hit by the brown what can brown do for you make you slip and fall slip and fall on your face and shit that's just how it works sometimes Sometimes, avoid the pensioners. Oh god, that was not good. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat this fucking thing. This evil boss. Avon says Kofivi is all about holding hands. Maybe. Is that true? She shoots way slower than uh, Dave Bot does, but I guess that's okay. Yeah, we're still getting it. We're still getting it. At least there's no obstacles while the boss is here. Because, uh, that would be pretty foul. We're getting it. Do it up. Do it big. Alright. We defeated Ethics Bot. Goodbye, Ethics. Ethics going out the window. <laughs> As it should. When you're a politician. 
You gotta sell your soul, bro! Get my, uh, full health. Oh, I still don't have enough money. What happened? Dang. That's so sad. Alright, just leap through the saw blades. That's part of, uh, politicking as well. Oh, lord. Here we go. And a couple hits. It gets significantly harder once you beat the first boss. Oh! Small hands help bigly. <laughs> it wasn't enough to save me, though. He lifted me right up into a fucking bomb. Oh! Anyways, uh... It's got some, uh, political slant to it, obviously. Maybe you don't agree, like, I'm pretty right-leaning, uh... But even though this is a left-leaning game, I can still find some enjoyment out of it. And, uh, it's relatively inexpensive. Hey, shut the fuck up, ambulance! I'm trying to do an outro here. So rude. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, check it out on Steam, check it out on the Google Play Store. I think it's relatively cheap on both of those. Um, under five dollars for sure. I think two fifty on Google Play is what I remember. Uh, can't quite recall on Steam. It does run better on my PC than my phone, but uh, I've talked to the dev and they said they're trying to update uh, to get it to run a little better on the phone. But uh, yeah, I've got I've got great faith in this game, and for an endless runner, it's relatively nice. The art style is pretty cool, um, and so is the music, and even the concept itself. You know, collect the taxes um, and then get the wheat turned into a giant fucking. Barbara Mecha Streisand thing. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I uh, appreciate what you're doing here, my buddy. Andy's his name. I don't. Oh, Bloodline Games. That's right. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, friends, I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the episode, it is always, always appreciated. Helps the channel to get out here. Helps this game to get out there because, uh, yeah, I'd really like for some more people to know about this. Give me their input and stuff like that because I truly, truly value it. Um, I can't let my opinion be the only one going out there. That That's just not cool, you know what I mean? I want some people to, to say, no, Dayton, I disagree with you. This and this, is, this and this is why. And I'll be like, oh, that's, that's a very interesting point. I can't. I can't say whether I will be swayed or not until I hear the point, but I do like hearing an opposing point of view, which is uh, probably also why I enjoy this game. It uh, forced me to research some British political leaders and uh, look into Brexit a little further. <clears throat> but yeah, I've rambled quite enough. Thank you so much for watching, friends. This has been Maybot. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. My voice is starting to go, so I'm gonna cut it here. I will see you in the next one, whatever we decide to play next. And until then, friends, bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, 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 goodbye,